had a long list at the beginning of the year to get through, one of the bands I featured in that list was 30 Seconds to Mars. Welcome back to my channel because now I'm going through systematically all the ones and new underrated artists I've featured and now I'm getting back to featuring them again because my promise is I'll keep featuring them until you the public get to enjoy and savour their music as much as me. 30 Seconds to Mars with Seasons. We don't need to go into the bio. It's I will attach the former reaction I did to this video. So you get a double helping because you really will enjoy them. I just find that they are fresh, honest. They've come back after a long hiatus or hiatus, whatever way you pronounce it in your country. And they are killing us with the music that they produced. It comes from It's the End of the World. But it's a beautiful day album. What a great title. And as I said, it's track three. The song itself is explores the concept of endure, enduring through the highs and the lows of a relationship or any challenging situation. And I think a lot of us are challenged today, whether it be personal, in a relationship, work-wise, mental wise physical wise we're all challenged on a level that we we've never experienced before a lot of people said oh we came through covid but i beg it to different thousands of relationships finished after covid people walked out of marriages and i personally have that experience within my family and pressures got to people because they couldn't see their loved ones that have died in the hospitals and a lot of anger towards politicians because at the moment politicians seems to be all having a boys game and it's called war and you know millions of people are affected so this song when it comes to its basic principles is about a relationship and it portrays the inevitability of change and the importance of holding on and staying committed it is very very important I mean, I've been in a relationship 16 years, but at the same time, everybody, let's be fair, a lot of external pressures causes, no matter how much, oh, I must have money coming to me. I always get this itch now during the videos. So that's it, gone. <laughs> well, back to what I was saying. And commitment is something that even after 16 years, it's tough to uphold, uphold sorry. It really is, it's something that you are into in other words the person the relationship the future what is a plan or it's something that's under a lot of pressure because you now need change in your life simple whether it be a person or an environment or a change of clothes or whatever it is you're frustrated you need to feel different about yourself and the world you're in and that can be tough going on that journey so it is that kind of song as i said you know, it does, this particular one, endure through the highs and the lows of a relationship. And all those things I've mentioned are part of the highs and the lows that affect a relationship. And they are the challenges. So let's get into the actual song itself. I'm just bringing it up. Let's listen. Welcome back. 30 seconds to Mars. And if you want to know more about them, the first video I did this year will be attached to this for you to get to know a little bit of bio if you wish. But I just want to hear seasons. People that come and people that go When the leaves change and the colours they show Can you hold on to the seasons? To the seasons, oh Through every eye and through every low A beautiful lie and never get so Can you hold on to the seasons? The seasons, oh My fault, it's the truth I'm alive Fuck it up now, I'm trying to make the wrongs right I hate that I hurt you Oh, oh, oh Fuck it, here we get alive I kill a little woman when I'm inside What's that? Can we choose? Oh, 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 oh Whatever, whether if it rain or shine Whether it's pain, there's a good night Sweet my 
I have to say I'm disappointed it finished so early. It's one of them songs, if you were in a car, I'd pull up simply because I wouldn't be able to drive. I'd be just so chilled listening to that. Absolutely incredible second reaction from me to you guys on 30 Seconds to Mars coming from, and I'll name the album again because as I said, it's all new and I want to keep people in touch with you. It's the end of the world, but it's a beautiful day album. Guys, it's a must have. If you love that kind of chilled out sound, electronic beats, all of that, good, good pop music. They've been around a long time. They went away for quite a few years and came back with this. I think they haven't disappointed. I've listened to a few reactors who have said disappointing things about this particular group. But I say this about any group that goes away and comes back. We've had um, Mick Jagger and the boys. We've had U2 dropping Atomic uh, City. I've got both of my reactions to those. Everybody jumped on board and said, whoa, amazing, whoa, they're great, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then suddenly you get a band like 30 Seconds to Mars and you get other reactors that are say, and I look at the age group and they average around 26 to 30. What the hell would they know about the music industry? and to formulate such an opinion about people that went away, came back, and it's a disappointing album. They're not music. I am a music reactor, and I have been professionally for over 20 years, but these people, and I get paid in the capacity of music as well, but these people are just talking through the orifice. They really are the, that I sit on. They haven't a clue. 30 Seconds to Mars have produced an exceptional album. An album of simple, laid back, wonderful pop it's not complicated people don't want complications in their life even with music they want it just like what we've heard they want the seasons to come and you know we're going into autumn and that's a beautiful almost like end of summer let's come down from the glorious hot weather we've experienced in ireland to into the autumn with that kind of music and that's my argument with them they they have produced an album to savor to relax to not to think too heavily about this or that or the lyrics. Yes, they have meaning, but nothing too heavy. Everything is just, you know, it's the end of the world, but it's a beautiful day. In other words, all their songs, all their lyrics, obviously is about my summary of the album. You might have felt this then, but what did you learn from it? And if you have learned something, then it's a beautiful day. It's not the end of the world. That's kind of what the album and all the songs and the lyrics gear you towards different situations to make you feel, I did learn something. And you know what? My life's okay. I've got my health, my wealth, as in mental and physical, and I'm moving on. So to all those people that, that have stupidly said things about the album, I just say, could you just give up reacting? Because really, you haven't a clue what you're talking about. As I'm going to prove in these lyrics now that I'm going to read out to you, verse 1 says, I hope it's verse 1, no, it's the chorus, sorry. The chorus said, and thank you genius lyrics as always for the lyrics. The chorus says, people they come, people they go, when the leaves change and the colours they show. Can you hold on through the seasons? Through the seasons, ooh, through every high and every low, a beautiful lie, it never gets old. Can you hold on to the seasons? Through the seasons. Ooh. Yeah, can you? Can you mentally and physically hold on to each passing season, each passing year, when your mind and your body and your mindset is somewhere else? It continues, verse 1, my fault, that's the truth, I won't lie. And I won't use the expletive here, but it begins with F, and I'll say FECT, which is an Irish saying. F-E-C-K-E-D, but I'm sure you understand the original. For YouTube policies, I cannot. Um, Fecked it all up now. I'm trying to make the wrongs right. I hate that I hurt you. I talk. Again, it's an expletive I can't use in YouTube. Um, but I will say the Spanish version, caca. Comes from your orifice, everybody. Um, yeah, we get out, out of line, but... I get a little warmer when I'm inside. White flag, can we truce? See, they're all questions about the relationship commitments and can we move on and 
all of that's happening here because the pre-chorus says whatever weather if it's rain or shine whether it's pain pleasure good or hard times we might go around and around but i won't back down in other words i won't give up my determination to make it work between us it's part of what it's saying but in the chorus the lyrics people they come people they go it also suggest, suggests that they enter and exit our lives and it's and it's something that we just need to accept some of some of us have had two three four five six partners others have had just two in their life i've had four partners in my life and four two very simple relationships to extraordinarily painful relationships as in one had died in a horrific car accident the other was just a psychotic narcissist who i should never have even looked at and then i found peace in my current relationship and 16 years later a peace of mind and that heals the body so all of that's forgotten about whatever turmoil i've come through i believe karma came around to say now it's your time your your chance and your relationship to smile and i do but here they say they come and go and also when the line says when the leaves change and the colors they show that represents everybody like you know the leaves change think about it and what the song is called seasons it's the seasons you're going through different seasons every year it's a metaphor for ups and downs that occur through life it's as simple as that the song also urges us to preserve through a positivity and you know weigh it up against your, your negativity and it's something i say a lot i always say to people when they go through negative times you need to turn your negatives into positives and learn by your negatives what's upsetting you what's causing the negatives to eat away at you so much how can you turn it around because i can't do it nobody else can i can listen but only you can turn it around so i i agree that you know this song is about the changing seasons turning negative into positive not feeling it's a long long year and the line of beautiful eye it never gets old can be interpreted as a reference to vulnerability everybody and sometimes the deceptiveness of the nature of relationships could because let's be fair but also you need to acknowledge the enduring allure and fascinating fascination of love because when you fall in love even if it breaks up even if it goes there's this longing in you to want it back almost like you want to chase after it and say come back come back i i enjoyed it i don't care if you do but i did and that's the reality and that's why people have their ups and downs and their different seasons in relationships you know one minute it's spring full of flowers and then it's summer it's hot it's sweaty it's sexy it's exciting and then we go into autumn where mm, i'm feeling a bit bored there's something not right here you begin to doubt the sunshine is gone then you go into a winter of paranoia almost with your thoughts and usually that's because people don't talk but we'll get back now to the rest of the song and I'll flick back and I'll just go through to the end verse 2 says you slipped a couple of times but that's fine because if I started pointing fingers you wouldn't see mine I don't want to judge you you see from the side when I'm blind you're the one I'm calling when I need a lifeline but I don't want to lose you it seems to be a running theme here I don't want to lose you but the chorus says whatever weather whether it rain or shine whether it's pain pleasure good or hard times we might go around and around but I won't back down so he's obviously missing this love this person and he's just going around in his head like we all do and the conclusion for him is it's worth the chase i've, I've just got to reach out and keep showing an interest and at some point they'll say you know what i'll give this person a second chance so it's all about fingers crossed the chorus says people they come and they go and i've explained that when the leaves change and the colors they show can you hold on through the seasons through the seasons through every high and every low a beautiful lie it never gets old can you hold on through the seasons through the seasons and then it finally finishes whatever weather if it rain or shine whether it's pain pleasure good times or hard times we might go around and around but i won't back down so that determination to the bitter end is what this 
song is all about different seasons but i'll keep going through the seasons living in hope wishing wanting and desiring and giving it another go and choosing my time when to contact that person to show them i'm still interested and whether it rain or shine it's pleasure or pain or good to hard times we might go around and around but the moral is i won't back down and determination you know I always say, people say, should I run after this person? I say, if your heart's there and you feel you've got a chance, do it. You'll never know unless you try. But the verses also touch upon personal flaws and mistakes, expressing remorse for hurting the other person. You know, the lyric's my fault. That's the truth. I won't lie. And I fecked it all up. Now I'm going to try the wrong. It's right. Reveals a willingness to take responsibility and make amends. The mention of calling, what was it, it says, a truce implies a desire for reconciliation and finding common ground. And then in the lyrics, you know, the pre-chorus discusses the importance of resilience and commitment. As I said, if you're determined, you feel it's a second chance and you want to go there, go there. Whatever the weather, rain or shine, it says, whatever it's pain, pleasure, good or hard times, we might go around and around, but I won't back down. That simply enforces the idea one should remain steadfast, not give up despite the challenges that may arise. Simple as that. Overall, I found seasons for you to embrace the change in aspects of life and relationships hold on through the various seasons, both joy and hardship here, here, because it's not always good. You know, take the good with the bad. It's part of your wedding vows, for God's sake. But even if you're not married, it's part of a relationship vow. So you should know that. You'll have your ups and downs. And acknowledge a true commitment. Requires endurance. It does. And the ability to weather storms together. Now this, in this case, this person wants to. Fingers crossed it happens. They deserve a second chance. We all do. So I hope you give me a second chance and come back. More of the same. Thank you for listening.